Hey, 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 do you struggle with self-doubt? Self-doubt, that nasty, dirty, filthy little monster in the back of your head that likes to tell you when you can and can't do something, if you're good enough, fast enough, smart enough. The voice that tells you other people can do that, but not you, not you. No. You struggle with that? But guess what? Self-doubt is nothing more than a disguise for fear. Fear of what? Fear of looking bad. Fear of failure. Fear of getting hurt, pain. Uh, fear of the unknown. Well, that is good news. Because what do we know about fear? A lot of people think fear makes uh, means to stop what you're doing or paralyzes you right you know for me it's paralysis by analysis but what's good about fear is we know how to deal with fear we don't know how to deal with self-doubt I mean there's a lot of you know I guess generalities around overcoming self-doubt but self-doubt when you know it's nothing more than fear how do we get rid of fear Fear is uh, nothing more than not knowing, not knowing the uh, the outcome, not knowing what's on the other side of that thing, <clears throat> not knowing if you're gonna get hurt, if it's gonna hurt badly, if it's you know not gonna hurt as bad as you think, all those things. So the best way to overcome fear, or to at least be able to uh, manage your fear is to get more information. You gotta have the right tools. You gotta have the right information. And then you have to take action. You gotta take an action in face of that fear. There's a, there's a good book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And that's really all I've done because I am still a procrastinator. I am still struggling with uh, plenty of fear, mainly because fear I've used as a tool for success. I've used fear to motivate me, to push me. I will run like hell away from pain. For some reason, pleasure, you know, the goals, things like that, I want them. But Especially earlier on, I um, I would struggle to do those uncomfortable things um, for the positive, but I would do them to avoid the negative. It's freaking weird, right? So, how do we overcome fear? So, to overcome fear, you just need to have a little bit of faith. Either faith in a higher power universe, whatever, faith in yourself, or just faith in the tools, faith in this message, faith in the person you're hearing it from, teacher, whatever, you know, driving, uh, having a car drive you is freaking scary, right, but when you trust that you've done it a few times, or you've watched enough people do it, or you know enough about the company, how it works with all the cameras, then you're like, oh, well, it's not as scary. It's freaking weird. Definitely about to turn right now uh, on a highway. Like, that, it, you know, it takes a little getting used to, but it's really not scary anymore. It doesn't, you know, there's a lot of things like that. So once you get enough information, like, for example, most people are afraid of cold calling and going on appointments in real estate, right? So we're real estate investors and we train our team and we every Monday night have uh, meetings that are um, open to other local investors and people wanting to get into the business. And cold calling um, or just calling on leads that they generate, it's like, you can teach everything about marketing to get leads, but if they're gonna like, if you're gonna sit 
and hum and haw for minutes, hours, days before calling. I, we've already called them, got an appointment, and gotten the deal. Like you're gonna, you're not going to win if you can't get over that fear of talking to people and not overthinking stuff. So I tell everybody who's new, look, if I promised you, promised you that there was $10,000 in this list of a thousand phone calls, a thousand people that you had to talk to, would you, how fast would you call them all? You could call and talk to a thousand people and have it take 10 years, five years, a year, or you could talk to a thousand people in a matter of weeks and you'll get really good at hearing no, really good at your script, really good at your tonality, your delivery, objections, like nothing will scare you because you'll be kind of numb to hearing it because you've heard it before, right? The problem is people don't know and so they use that as an excuse to let fear in, right? They're like, I don't, well, can you guarantee it? No, I can't guarantee shit. Guarantee death and taxes, that's about it. So, but knowing how it works, knowing that the outcome is guaranteed, somehow, gives us the courage or reduces the fear enough that we take action. So anything that is giving you doubt, anything that scares you, anything that you're overthinking or, or feel like you need more information before you can take the first step, look, the fastest way to learn something is to just do it, right? That's not, Nike didn't just come up with that because it's cute. Like, just do it. Stop talking about it. Stop worrying about it stop overthinking it stop procrastinating just do something do something and taking that action you will almost certainly screw it up make a mess please make a mess because we can clean it up that's what my accountant told me when I said I was getting into another business in real estate I was like, all right, first, I can't, I can't do it in my marketing company's LLC. Got to set up this other LLC. Got to get business cards. Got a website. He's like, no, just just go buy something. Go talk to some sellers. Get something under contract. And put it in your own personal name. It doesn't matter. Um, we'll clean it up, you know, on your second, third, fifth, tenth deal. Like, you don't got to worry about all that stuff before you just act because what's the point in spending all that time and then and setting up all of these entities and structure and then um and then you have you have no leads you don't even own anything so now you're paying for an entity and you're paying for business cards and paying for all this stuff that you don't even uh for what for just to to have a company that doesn't make money no so that is, uh, that's my two cents on, on self-doubt, otherwise known as fear. Um, I've got some, some tips, some resources that uh, I'll share with you as well. So because I didn't have, you know, a dad uh, to show me the ropes, so to speak, I didn't have, um, I didn't have a lot of mentors in my Hometown didn't have a lot of people close to me basically to kind of say oh you're struggling with that Well, number one don't struggle with that. You're awesome. You can do anything You're whatever, right? No one to like help in that process growing up. It was just Sam and I on the real world like oh shit How do we survive? Especially when we've got all this chatter when we're trying to be entrepreneurs fresh out of high school so because we didn't have that, I had to use things like eight tracks. The number eight, T-R-A-C-K-S dot com. It's a great app. Or just YouTube. It's really all the audio from motivational YouTube videos. Getting up, going for a walk, 
listening to self-help stuff. It may sound corny, but maybe you just haven't listened to the right stuff. There's all different types of extras. You got the real super aggressive A-type personality macho man fucking dudes. You've got, you know, the cool calming females. You've got the science type or quantum physics guys. You got all types of people. High energy, low energy, whatever you connect with. But find those uh, those people to listen to. And I mean daily. I love Les Brown says, sometimes the only things good you'll hear about you are the things that you say to you. Well, I couldn't even find the words to say the good things to myself. So I would do that indirectly um, by listening to other people's messages over and over and over and over and over and over until they're literally like burned in my head. I could have got a ton, all of these things, you know, just memorized. Um, so listening to that regularly, you just can't help but change your emotional state you can't help but change the, the that negative self-talk one it will be drowned out while you're listening to it two even if you know one little seed sticks today and another one tomorrow and a different one you know jim Rohn says there's nothing more you know powerful than you know listen hearing lyrics in a song or reading that page in a book or something finally a light bulb goes off right it's like a, that lock uh, to a code a code that needs you know four numbers and you've had three of those numbers forever and then it's just oh ah that's the thing that's I got it now right those moments only happen when you're constantly daily reading listening to that positive stuff meditation you know the calm app is awesome um how to meditate it's a 30-day thing on the calm app so eight tracks calm app uh you can go to my youtube follow me on youtube and i have all my playlists uh, motivational playlists uh, public so you can just listen to all my top picks same with eight tracks um and of course books but just load up your phone with that stuff and get a good pair of noise canceling headphones and drown out not just the noise outside but that pesky mother effer inside that likes to uh doubt everything it's actually really important i'm pretty sure it has something to do with our survival and you know keeping us alive but um but it's a little over it's like primal it's normal to be fearful. It's normal to to doubt. But because of society and probably a million other things we don't have time to talk about, it's it overreacts a lot. It's overactive. And these things that uh, I do help and have uh, just continued to work. So naturally, you're doing more and more. And I don't question as much. I don't doubt as much because I've had so many times that it's, worked so take that run with it if there's anything that you use for overcoming self-doubt um to help with that i would love to hear it in the comments uh, that's actually how i heard about eight tracks with my buddy philip lomboy from like nine ten eleven years ago shared it with me and i have been grateful to him ever since um so yeah please share let me know in the comments all right later